Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to my channel. I am here at the beautiful Padley Gorge in the Peak District. I'm just waiting for a bit of light before I head on down into the forest, woodland, whatever you want to call it. Um, the trees are now well on their way into autumnal colours, and I thought I'd come and see if it's looking as beautiful as it always does. I'm going to finish my cup of tea, and then... I've got another camera to show you. So what is this camera I'm going to show you? It is this, the Zenith 80, also known as a Kiev 80 or 88, I think it's the 88. But this is the Hasselbladsky, as it's also been known as. It looks very familiar. I think you, you can't deny that. It's because it is pretty much a Russian or USSR uh, ripoff of the famous C uh, Hasselblad 500. It looks the same in many, many ways. Is it the same? Hell no, hell no. This is a clunky, clunky piece of equipment. But put those quirks aside, put the little things that you must do or it will go wrong to one side. And it's quite a fun little camera. I've been quite suitably impressed. So as you can see, it is your traditional medium format camera. It's a six by six with removable backs. It has probably the worst shutter curtain I've ever seen in my life, which is a great big metal sheet. If I can get that back on, there we go. Uh, a nice big clunky, very easy to use lens with uh, a very simple to use aperture, with an aperture preview when you're half cocked. Wind on, wind on which it is connected, so it's not like uh, like the Mamiya RB67 where you've got to cock your shutter and then wind your film on with an advanced lever. This does do it all for you. So it works well, it's pretty, and I shall continue to show you a few more shots.
I mentioned about the quirks. The biggest quirk, and it's like the Hasselblad'ski law, is you must wind on before changing the shutter speed. Now, Zorkies are the same, your Feds are the same, your Zenit, uh, Zenit E's and B's and all that stuff. You must wind on before changing it. The wind on cocks your shutter and it sets the spring. It will then be adjustable from there. Doing it the other way around puts too much strain on the gears, the springs, whatever, and it will break and you'll end up with a very pretty ornament. There's not many places now that will fix this kind of camera. Really, that's it. Obviously, making sure your dark slide is in uh, before trying to remove the back is an obvious one. That's about it. Because it's not a leaf shutter, you don't have to worry about cocking the shutter before taking the lens off because it's all built into the back. Do be careful with that rear shutter curtain. It's fragile, thin metal, and I can see that being dented and damaged very easily. Again, there's not many places that can fix these cameras. And that'll do. It's a fun little camera. If you do that, it looks like you've got a Hasselblad. Just don't get close to anybody. That's how I live my life. <laughs> that went deep. <laughs> okay, that'll do. We'll end that on a whatever note. If this is your first time here, please do click that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be notified as to when I upload a new video. The next video will contain probably another quirky film camera. So for now, take care. <laughs> What's this?